first 20 minutes of the match before the mandatory water break offered very little in terms of excitement. Everton seemed to be the team pushing forward more. Despite this, they did not create anything really worthy of note. The same can be said for Sparta though, who, in addition, struggled to really get into gear. At the ninth minute, Everton had a chance when Ellis Sims got away on the left-hand side and then cut an assist across to the opposite side, where Max Thompson was waiting, but his shot was wanting and ended up high above the crosswalk. Ten minutes later, Sparta won a corner kick, but the apparently rehearsed play did not bear the desired fruits as the resulting shot ended up going very wide at the right-hand post. At the 26th, Everton had perhaps the clearest chance of the half, when Pedro Neves slammed his way past the player inside the box and shot, but the ball went wide. A minute later, Sparta had its own up-close and personal chance when Mikhail Sezwek served a low assist that cut into the box, but at it, Adam Gabriel's shot was wanting and weak, the keeper saving it easily. At this point, having expended some of their energies in the first fraction of the half, Everton's game began being a little less accurate. This allowed Sparta to push forward more, garnering multiple corners, namely between the 27th and 29th minute, but nothing came of them. Two minutes before the end, Everton won a corner themselves, but the play was stopped due to an attacking foul. The second half got off to an explosive start, as Sparta found a goal after a fast counter-attack on the heels of an Everton corner. A nice through ball down the left-hand side found Václav Blaha, who entered the box, dribbled the keeper and got off a shot on the empty goal, the ball hitting the inside of the left-hand post and going in. Two minutes later, Everton was awarded a corner. The cross to the far post found Ryan Astley, but his header went wide. At the 44th minute, Sparta was added again, this time with Dominic Simacic, but his shot was stopped by the keeper. Five minutes later, it was again Sparta who tried to score, as a cross from a corner kick somehow found Blaha, but his low shot towards the right-hand corner was stopped by the watchful keeper. At the 57th minute, a long ball finds Kieran Phillips, but the dangerous play is somehow neutralized by the defense. Nine minutes later, Everton won a free kick from outside the box, then taken by Phillips. The shot was a great attempt, but the keeper was able to nick it and the ball hit the crossbar, going out for a corner. At the 69th, a nice ball cut diagonally into the box was barely missed by Blaha, much to his visible disappointment. At the 73rd, it was Everton who tried again, after Tom Warren served Bobby Carroll, but his shot was too central to worry the keeper. Two minutes later, it was Everton who was at it again, when Phillips stole a ball away from the defender in from inside the box on the right-hand side, but the angle of his shot was too diagonal and ended up out of bounds to the right of the keeper. The last notable chance of the match was for Sparta, who hit the top of the left-hand post with a shot by Wojtek Patrak.